A very casual conversation. Okay. So, Christian, I'm Cam. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, um, how does an event like this get organized or even come about? Well, this is uh, this is a um, a collaboration between two two groups: the Public Law Center, uh, who I work for, uh, who is a uh, legal services organization that has been providing free legal services to Orange County, low income Orange County residents for over thirty years, uh, and Ocor, who is a uh, a organizing um, group uh, who has been around a long time and whose, whose purpose is to empower low income residents. Uh, and Sure that they have a voice in our political system. Uh, so, uh, one of the benefits of becoming uh, a citizen is is you get the right to vote. So that's why Oak Forward is involved. Uh, the PLC is involved because we actually receive funding to do this type of work uh, from some of the foundation. So, uh, this is our third fair, uh, large fair. The court has, has done a couple of fairs prior to that, so this is the fourth or fifth fair to, uh, to help legal permanent residents become citizens. And how many, um, how many individuals do you think show up to these fairs? Rough estimate. Uh, anywhere from 300 to 400 each fair. Yeah, so throughout the whole day, it's been here till 5 p.m. And what do you think are some of the most challenging things for the people that attend? Like, what are some of the questions hey. that you've heard? Well, the most challenging thing for people to attend is, is, is confusion. That's why we have lawyers to help people. Because it, 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 for lawyers, it's not that complex, but for, but for low income and educated people, it, it, it really is a complex system. So, uh, so that's the whole that's, the system is designed to help them navigate a very complex system on how to become a citizen. And for um, individuals who are interested in spreading the word about these types of events or even organizing their own, what's some advice that you would give? Uh, you need lawyers because uh, because if, if you don't have lawyers reviewing the paperwork, people can get deported. Oh, okay. uh, because when you, you fill, if you if you fill out the application wrong and you give some information that you shouldn't, it it makes it makes you uh, basically it, it grabs the attention of the U.S. government. Okay. Right. So like people with with, with criminal history should not be doing this without attorney review. Okay. So so, so just I would not recommend just to do it. Right. It's like don't just randomly give advice. No, uh, contact the public law center, find a legal service to or an uh, expert in immigration law before you do this. It's not easy uh, well, because it's high risk. Okay. You know? Is there any other words of advice or suggestion or comments that you'd like to make uh, to uh, our <laughs> blog viewers? Uh, we need volunteers. If you guys are interested in volunteering for the next one, we can use all the volunteers. And it doesn't, you don't have to be lawyers to be volunteers. If you can see, we have uh, not lawyers helping at the front. We have, so here, it's a great opportunity to help the community and give back to the community. So, volunteer. You can co contact Accord or uh, the Public Law Center if you're interested in volunteering. Thank you so much Thank you. for your time. Yeah, right? It was too bad. Okay, I did not agree.